वेलकम टू एस टी बी एग्जाम फोरम वी हैव कम अप विद पार्ट टू ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो वेयर वी आर सॉल्विंग आर्थमेटिक सेक्शन ऑफ इसरो असिस्टेंट एग्जाम दैट वॉज हेल्ड ऑन अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन ओके सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच पार्ट वन इट इज रिकमेंडेड टू वॉच पार्ट वन ऑल्सो ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन द सेशन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन एंड योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ student take paper and pencil or your notebook and just try to solve it okay that will be beneficial for you okay student times up student question says by selling an electric pump at cost of rupees 4800 a farmer loses one quarter of it of what it cost him what is the cost price okay so as you know one quarter means 1 by 4 okay so if uh, he it cost 4 rupees to him he will lose 1 rupees okay so what will be the selling price 3 by 4 this is the original price this is the selling price okay so he has sold this electric pump at 4800 rupees so what will be the factor 3 1 3 three, 3 6 18 1600 okay so if we multiply 1600 with 4 what we will get 6400 okay 6400 so correct answer for this question is 64 so this denominator will always be the original one and original one is a cost price so 6400 is the right answer for this question okay so option a is the correct answer let's see the next question it is from the time and work and your timer already got started okay it is from the time and work student in these type of question you need to calculate the efficiency so as you know the efficiency of a and b is what 1 by 6 this is efficiency okay and a can do uh, alone in 9 days so a can do alone in 9 days okay you need to calculate how many days b alone can do it it is very simple student 1 upon 6 is equal to what 1 upon 9 plus 1 upon x this is b efficiency okay just you need to solve this equation what we will get 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon 9 uh sorry 1 upon 6 minus 1 upon 9 okay so if you solve this you will get 1 upon 18 and this is efficiency so if you reverse it you get the number of days so 18 days will be the correct answers okay so b alone can do in 18 days so option d is the correct answer okay shall we move to the next question and let's solve this question and your time starts now this is from the age okay topic is age problem on ages so what the question says the average age of three person is 45 years okay so whenever you uh, have this average so you can calculate the sum okay what would be the sum 45 into 3 45 into 3 is what 135 okay so uh, the next statement their ages are in ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4 Two is to three is to four, A, B, and C. So, what is the sum of A, B, C? Four plus three plus two. What we get? Four, three, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine. But the question says it is one thirty-five. What is the factor here, student? Fifteen. Okay, so nine fifteen nine is one thirty-five. Okay, so if we multiply. uh we need to find the difference between ages of youngest and eldest so this is the youngest and this is the eldest the difference is what 2 okay so the factor we got is 15 so 15 into 2 30 year is the correct answer okay so 30 is the correct answer coming to the next question and your time starts now and it is a very simple one student very simple one you can uh, 
do it in i think five second hardly okay so which of the following is equal to the product of this okay so it is very simple so just break 45 in as 40 plus 5 and into 25 so you can write uh, if you open this bracket how can you write 40 into 25 plus 25 into 25 okay so as you can see option d is the right answer okay so it is a equivalent expression for the 45 into 25 okay so option d is the right answer quickly coming to the next question it is a very good question student so let's see the next question as you know the sum of odd number between any ranges is n square n is the number of odd number okay so you can count 1 3 5 up to 31 okay so on counting you will get 16 okay the number of uh, numbers between 1 to 32 is 16 so just square that number okay 16 square is 256 okay so option a is the right answer okay let's see the next question and your time starts now it is very simple one uh, it looks very complicated but it's very uh, easy okay so what you can do you can put x is equal to 999 so what you will get x square plus 2x plus 1 okay so what is x square plus 2x plus 1 x plus 1 whole square what is x 999 nine, nine plus 1 whole square you get 1000 whole square so answer will be three zeros six zeros okay so this is the answer so option d is the correct answer quickly coming to the next question it's from speed and distance a, a very tricky question just you need to remember two things the first thing is uh, this pole problem where a monkey is climbing on a pole okay so the pole is 15 meter high okay so the monkey need to travel 15 meter in order to reach uh, at the top okay so uh, because there is a grease so it jumps 5 meter and slip down by 3 meter in alternate minutes okay so first thing you need to subtract the forward distance okay 5 meter why I will tell you later so 15 minus 5 is what 10 meter first we need to check it okay so in one minute monkey uh, climbs 5 meter okay in next one minute so it will be two minutes what happens it decreases or it sl slips by three meters so five minus three is two meters so effective distance is two meter in two minutes okay so we need to climb 10 meters so if it become 10 meter we need to multiply by 5 so 2 into 5 is what 10 minutes so in 10 minute it will reach 10 meter but in order to uh, meet 15 meter high it need to come climb one more minute so it will be 10 plus 1 minute that is 11 minute okay so 11 minute will be the right answer so option D is the right answer okay let's see the next question it is from the pipes and system it is from the pipes and system so you can do like this there are two tabs uh, that can fill a tank uh, in eight hours and six hours it is just like efficiency so this is for a this is for b and a third tap can empty in 12 hours so that emptying is negative okay minus 1 by 12 just you need to uh, calculate this equation what you will get you would get LCM of what 24 and if you uh, do 8 3 j 24 6 4 j 24 12 2 j 24 okay so what you get 5 by 24 7 
5 4 plus 3 7 7 minus 2 is what 5 so it is 5 by 24 5 by 24 if you want to do in hours reverse it 24 by 5 what is the answer 4.8 okay so 4.8 is the right answer okay understood let's see the next question a very simple one question student student what least number should be subtracted from 9068 to make it perfect square as you know the long division method 9062 how 68 how to calculate the square using long division yes just make it two bars okay so what is the number 9 9 is 81 correct so sorry 9 9 is 81 and what you will have remainder 9 just drop 68 again how you need to calculate it is 9 plus 9 18 and if you multiply by 5 okay like this 5 into 5 so what you get 925 okay 925 so 5 here it comes as 185 and it become 925 so you have difference of 43 so if we subtract 43 from this uh, this remainder will become 0 so 45 43 is the minimum number if you subtract the number 9068 will become perfect square okay so option D is the right answer okay student uh, that's it I am giving you this question as a homework this is a lengthy one if it come in exam you should not attempt these question unless and until you have very speed and accuracy in that question okay just try to solve this question and answer in our comment box okay so student uh, these are few other videos uh, where we are solving previous year question uh, for year 2014 you can watch it and we have also discussed uh, the syllabus in this video where we have mission ISRO 2023 okay so that's it student uh, I hope uh, we have covered the full question paper of 2014 exam in the next uh, video series we are coming with 2012 paper okay 2012 previous year question paper we will solve okay so thank you for watching and have a nice day